I thought I'd do something interesting. Uh, just for the hell of it. I'll look at some crazy stuff. Here we go. Alright. There's some internet fools on here on the internet. I'm the internet fool. Uh, since they can't prove you wrong, what they'll do is they'll use other methods of proving you wrong. Such yeah, as like insults. logic. Uh, they'll use grammar such as they'll say you can't pronounce a word so you're wrong. Or mm. spelling, for example. Or you can't understand concepts so you're wrong. Say 4 plus 4 equals 8. And you get some fools that'll say, well, you spelled it wrong so God doesn't exist. And they'll play the word game, so let's go ahead. The word game where we'll actually use definitions for things. I don't know. Then, I'll, well, stay tuned towards the end of the video. His own words will prove him wrong. This is going to be great. My words will prove me wrong. Creationists as well as evolutionists as well as agnostics and so on and so forth. Check this out. My point here was how often people actually use a... Uh, words, words like scientific theory, and com and confuse them with their definitions. How scientific theory is um, is an example of how we are actually describing facts that were found out. So the funny thing is, is when they say, "Well, it's just a theory; it haven't it hasn't been proven." It's like, do you realize scientific theory is the words we have for how we've actually described the facts? Hasn't been proven, but we've had the facts. Anyway, Huge Bane here is actually going to prove my point how people will use uh, terms and not understand them and get them confused. Watch, he'll do it. Terminology that they do not have a grasp on. They don't know what the definition is. They don't understand how to use it and when to use it. Uh, their confusion is. Ah, uh, going forward. Because they don't understand. Before this guy goes on, let's look up the word theory. Watch this, theory this is great. Is the analysis of a set of facts. The analysis of a set of facts. That's what he just said. A theory is the analysis of a th set of facts. But that would be... <laughs> It definitely means that I'm wrong because he read it from a dictionary, even though he said what I've been saying. And I'll give you an example of that. In relation to, from one to another. Abstract thought speculation. Which would be the general use of it. And watch how he actually will confuse the two. <laughs> Just like I said in my video. The general or abstract principles of a body of fact oh look there's science oh look at that body of fact a science or an art blah 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 he didn't show the whole thing but body of fact a science so check it out he glazes over it and he doesn't get it or an art so he's going to say that theory and scientific theory are different <laughs> go figure. Well, look up the word theory. Yeah, go ahead. Look it up. Just like he did. He actually showed in there where it said facts. Uh, concept of facts. But, I mean, he doesn't even realize that he's agreeing with me. When the word theory is used in a general conversation, it is a guess. It is just a guess. Educated guess. It doesn't matter if it's educated, uneducated, dumb, or... It actually does matter very much. It's relevant to the subject that's being discussed. Smart. It's still a guess. It's still a theory. You see what he did? He just read it right in here. Listen. So the body of fact. Oh, look. There's... Body of facts. We'll go a little bit... In relation to from one to another. Abstract thought speculation. Okay, so he read two different concepts of theory. You, you see that? He doesn't even realize that he's agreeing with how I say that people will confuse the two. 
and he's doing it. He's actually proving my point. Look at that. Now watch this, very important. Scientific theory, and he says that they are a compound word. Uh, one word, split, now two words. A very well-defined definition. Scientific theory is a compound word. Wah, 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 wah. For example, house. House basically... Look at his examples for compound word. Now this would actually pick on what he was saying earlier. But, you see this huge pain? This is an example of your lack of understanding. It's not saying that there is or is not a God. It's saying that you are actually tackling an issue that you have... You're incompetent to tackle this. You're talking about a compound words and then you actually show... You demonstrate separate words. You're incompetent for these arguments. Means uh, it shelters a human or a home for a human. Birds and dogs. All right, but real quick, I've only got a couple minutes left on this. I'm going to go to the part where he mentions that um, my own words will prove me wrong. Get it right. Because you must have spelled a word wrong, or you can't pronounce it. That's that's very irrelevant. Or 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 that you can't get the concept of the ideas that are being presented. That is your problem, huge bane. When they talk about evolution, it says that we all uh, came from monkeys. No. This is where he makes a huge error. And he says, I contradict myself. I'll explain in a moment. That's not what evolution teaches at all. Oh, yes, it does. Ev Evolution does not say we come from monkeys. Evolution states that we, as primates, come from the same ancestors as the other great apes. Not from monkeys. They're separate. Just like a duck is not an eagle, an eagle is not a sparrow. They're different things. You're, you're trying to make it seem like one is making a claim that every single bird would have originated from a hummingbird. It, it, you, you, the concepts are foreign to you. All you see is um, you're seeing them all as the exact same thing. Um, that that you're saying that I said that we do come from a monkey, and and I clearly state in here we don't come from monkeys. I clearly state in here that we as primates share the same common ancestral pool as the other great apes. And you say I contradicted myself. Let's see where I contradicted myself. Evolution does teach us that, or, you know, it teaches that we either came from apes or monkeys, however you want to say it. They're two different things, you monkey. But if you look at the evolution table right there... Monkeys are in an ape family, yeah, in a manner of speaking, but apes aren't in the monkey family. It shows that man came from ape. And he's going to say, play the word game of <laughs> You might play the word game of actually talking about classifications. In other words, he is upset by it because he doesn't get it. Ancestor. It if I don't understand it, it must be wrong, is the, the, the fallacy he's playing. Says, it is our... I, meaning him. If he doesn't understand it, it has to be wrong. Ancestor. Let's look up ancestor. One from whom a person is de descended. Yes! Bravo! Way to go! Now, it goes much further than grandma and grandpa, and their grandma and grandpa, and their grandma and grandpa, and their grandma and grandpa. We're talking about ancestors separated by thousands of generations. And who is usually more remote in a line, which means between two points is a line of descent than a grandparent. A forefather, forerunner, prototype. Bling But the sad part is, is even after making this video, he still does not understand. Once again, Mr. Huge Bane, you can look it up. Bravo to you on that. It's the understanding part that we got to get through to you. I'll let it go with that. I'll talk to you all later. Good luck.